Well, here's a latest addition. It's the uh, water pump. Let's see if we can get a little better look at it. Under the car. That's the new Bosch pump. Quite a bit bigger than the old one. Which was probably also a Bosch, but it was made for... Uh, I think the interior of the car instead of... Uh, this is more for an intercooler. So I wired it. Same as the old pump. Ground. Right up to here. Which I gotta check. I don't know if it's grounded good. And then the hot wire goes to the ignition through a Fiat fuse. Um, Fiat fuse block here. And there's the uh, motor regulator and the ignition. Here's another thing I discovered while I was working on it is these little boots back here. Like I can really get a good view. I guess you can see it there. It's melted. It's the outer boot, axle boot, but, you know, next time, I don't know, i got to figure out some other, probably uh, another type of rubber because these just don't hold up more than a year or two. It's kind of uh, ridiculous, really. Uh, let's see what else we got here. These are the new mounts, or tranny mounts. Let's look upside down, I guess, yeah. Where are they? Well, actually, this is the one that I didn't modify. That's an upside down view, but that shows where they usually crack right around in here and stuff. This is the reinforced one. see if I can turn this around. There, reinforcement, see all the welds and things there. These are uh, uh, urethane bushings for uh, suspen torsion arm suspension on a Chrysler. I put them in the bottom and this top piece is the uh, standard Fiat with the tube in it and there's an aluminum spacer here to take up the space so it's just a block of aluminum with a hole in it so it's still flexible but not as bouncy as the stock one and uh, there's the ground cable to the engine which I got hooked up here and this is that uh, uh, camber compensator that I installed. Still need to do some tweaking with it. Let's have a look at the condition of that boot in there. It's pretty soft. I don't know. It could be that it's the grease that I'm using in there. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's uh, pretty soft also. Here's a look at the uh, plumbing where I used some uh, elbows, probably for a, I don't know, some Ford, but uh, it was a good elbow and I enlarged these pipes on the ends to accept that that particular size so it's it's a little bit too big you can see the rubber is anyway so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and continue to uh, finish up and wrap up this uh, pump there's a Bosch sticker still made in Germany so hopefully it holds up the other pump was doing okay I just thought I'd upgrade to this probably a $90 pump shipped to my door 
thing to watch out for if anybody's going to do this is to make sure it's got that uh, terminal because most pumps don't come with it and it's just all it is is really a fuel injector type of uh, terminal so this pump came with the terminal and this little uh, this nice bracket but I had to modify my old bracket you can see I welded I welded this extension right here so I could make that bracket that it came with fit this was a bolt on but you can kinda see I welded this extension here from here to here to make that uh, new bracket fit so I just drilled a hole through here put a 10 millimeter bolt and one on the other so it seems to support it pretty well in here is a three-quarter inch rubber uh, hose uh, I guess similar to this one which I'm gonna put right here so that's three-quarter inch I got a piece like about like that underneath here to take up the space between the one and an eighth to three-quarter inch you know that's a problem with this pump but there's ways to get around it well anyways I'm gonna get back to work